Hey guys, I got I got a video here for you, and today it's gonna be about the hype that's been going around about upcycling Windows 7. What they're basically saying is that they want to force Microsoft to bring back Windows 7. And you can't force Microsoft to do something like that when they are the ones that own it. We demand that Windows 7 be released as free software. Its life doesn't have to end. Give it to the community to study, modify, and share. We urge you to respect the freedom and privacy of your users, not simply strong arm them into the newest Windows version. We want more proof that you really respect users and user freedom and aren't just using those concepts as marketing when convenient. So basically, they're saying that they demand that Windows 7 be released to the public domain. Well, first problem I can see is that it's Microsoft's operating system. They can do whatever they want, and they'll continue to do whatever they want. Second, the privacy and security part of things. Windows 7 has been around for a long time and it is known to be vulnerable to, to attacks nowadays. So it would be a massive security breach to, to banks and other companies. I'll leave a link in the video to to share to to see if you see if you want to try so you can try and get Microsoft to release Windows 7 to the public domain but if they were to release something to the public domain I guess I'm guessing it'd be Windows XP and Windows XP has been dead for some time now and And what, what people don't seem to realize is that Windows 7 is owned by Microsoft and they will do whatever they like and they will continue to do. They, they've done whatever they like with it and they'll continue to do whatever they like. So, yeah, I don't... I don't see Windows 7 being released to the public domain, not in my time anyways, or in the next 70 years from now. So yeah, if you want Windows 7 upcycled, good luck with that. It won't be happening anytime soon. So, bear that in mind. It's Microsoft. It's owned by Microsoft, and let's leave it like the, let, Let's leave it like it is. They're not gonna give you full support for an upper. 
for an operating system that they that they vended when they say it's the end of life it's the end of life they're not going to go back to an older version of Windows and give you support for it it's just time to move on I think there I've heard of us of the same of a similar scenario with Windows XP we had a lot of drama back in the day it was my childhood but you just gotta face the facts things get better and things evolve it's what evolution is so technology gets more advanced and we're just gonna have to deal with it as people so yeah there was a situation where a guy well a situation that I heard of where a guy made a video threatening to sue Microsoft because it was their right to use Windows XP and what people don't seem to realize is that Microsoft owns Windows 7 and Windows XP and every single version of Windows belongs to Microsoft and it'll and it'll stay that way until human evolution is gone out of existence but I don't think human evolution will be gone for the next a billion years so yeah link will be in the video description and that's all.